Hello, Tom Lavecchia here with a quick edition of the Armchair NBA. Going to talk a little bit about some of the best, some of the meanest comments I've gotten from the prior podcast, a few from the new podcast. And I just figured I'd do a little top 10 list for you quickly, just have a little fun. Um, if you can't laugh at this stuff, then why even bother? So number one on the list, Tom is a talentless scumbag who never did anything with podcasting until he hooked up with a rat. Thank you for that one. Number two, Tom, <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Tom, you are a complete and total disgrace to all Italian Americans. And the reason why this one was funny was I was in Little Italy at the San Gennaro feast with my fiance eating at Il Cortile. And I literally read this one and I said, wow, this guy cuts pretty deep. So I'm pretty proud of my Italian American heritage. I'm involved in a lot of associations. I worked a lot of associations and literally I was called the disgrace for all Italian Americans. So about more than a half hour later, we went to E. Rossi, e. Rossi and Sons. And um, it's one of the oldest purveyors of like Italian knickknacks, flags and so forth in Little Italy. I run into a good friend of mine, John, who was the former, the former president of the NIAF. For those that know the NIAF, it's the National Italian American Foundation. It's up there with Unico, maybe be bigger, has a lot of you know political connections, a lot of connections in the community. And he was a former president of the NIAF. I go in, I talk to Mr. Rossi. He actually sang a song for us. I uh, hope I can maybe play it. Great song. And what does my friend John say? Wow, Tom, I really appreciate you. You are really an amazing, an amazing and one of the best Italian Americans I know. Coming from the former president at the NIAF, and what do I do see preceding that is Tom, you're a complete disgrace to all Italian Americans. Number three, your fiance is just using you for a meal ticket. Okay, thank you. Well, we have a child and we have a great life and we've been together for a long time. Um, so yeah, but thanks for the comment. Uh, number four, and this is the most recent from my friend, Doug. Tom, you are sad drunk and I'm going to expose you for the fraud that you are. Okay, <laughs> next. Um, from my friend, Flea Cole, who I'm actually gonna to speak to soon. Tom, you are utterly and completely a complete clown. Okay, Lee. Um, you're another loser podcaster who lives in his mom's basement. So, I have my own house. And unfortunately, my mother passed in 2014. I don't talk about it too much. It's one of the most traumatic experiences in my life. Those folks that are what we call adult orphans, when you're an adult and both your parents have passed, it's very rough, right? We give any amount of money to live in my mother's basement. So the fact that he goes, you probably live in your mom's basement is something that I actually wish and strive for. I wish I could, but unfortunately I can't. Stop interrupting. You're utterly unwatchable. That one, I'll completely acknowledge. Although I do interrupt, I've gotten a lot better. Anybody who watched New Theory, anybody who watched the old podcast, anybody who watches this, I believe my interview has gotten a lot, lot better. Um, watch the old episodes, you'll see, watch new episodes, um, and you decide. And how the, how can you eat on air, you fat frick? The F-U-C cow word, I won't curse because it'll probably get demonetized. Um, I was interviewing Hootie for the first time, and for those that follow me, it's meant to be, this podcast is meant to be I don't do a lot of preparation by design. It's supposed to mean, uh, meant to be, I meet you on like kind of a bus stop. I chat with you and it's meant to be organic conversation. I also in the past have tend to keep it super casual to the point of drinking on air, which I get a lot of crap for, and also one, one or two times eating. So the time with Hootie, um, it ran a lot longer than it, than it thought it would. It was actually a good interview. Check it out. Um, I know he kind of like, you know, gets beat up a lot, but it was an old interview when I first, um, started doing more mobsters and I was super hungry and I didn't eat 
and I just started eating <laughs> and I got beat up on that. But again, that, that one was uh, deserved. Tom is a fool for believing that American cousin Austria doesn't deal in drugs. I never said that I completely said they didn't. I think that when they're made now, they're told not to. And then I think some guys actually follow that because they think that, you know what, the stints are a bit longer. Um, number 10, the finale. Tom, stop shopping at Walmart. And that was after posting a date night pic. And I think one of the things that I was wearing was actually custom. So I was like, okay, either my custom guy is not good or something. But nevertheless, stop walking, uh, stop shopping at Walmart. And a nice little bonus for you, because if you decided to watch this long, I'll add in number 11. This guy eats raw pork while watching TV in a room temperature bathtub. Not exactly sure what that means, but thank you for the comment. It's scary because I actually believe in the right to free speech, and I will always quote Voltaire. I may not believe with what you're saying, but I will fight to the death for your right to say it. I have a major interview coming up. I'm going to either release it in parts, or I'm going to drop it all tonight. It's scheduled to be tonight with a former Banano associate. Um, I'm excited about this one because he's Sicilian-born, and he's going to help me piece where I kind of left off where you kind of had the pizza connection, you had operational bridge, what's that gap there? A little about kind of the Messina rain. Right now I'm a little bit on a banana kick. So I'm super excited about this. So stay tuned and I'll see you all soon.